Again, Stara Lubovna in northern Slovakia on the border with Poland, on the foothills of the Carpathians. It was an old medieval Germanic neighborhood established in 1300s. There is apparently a castle on the hill, which you can see here. And uh, relatively late, because only in 1800s, uh, the Jews were allowed to enter into the city. The community was growing steadily throughout 1800s into a couple of hundreds of members. Uh, against the opposition of the most the Germanic population that lived here. Uh, officially, the anti-Jewish residential ban is lifted only after World War I, but already at this stage, the community has over 500 members. And that's the number that the community is having up until World War II. In March of 1939, obviously, Czechoslovakia is gone because of the appeasement policies of Western Europeans and uh, Czech Republic is dismantled, Slovakia is turned into a little pro-Nazi puppet state. Uh, one of the parties that is definitely shaping the politics of Nazi Slovakia is the German party, that was the name. It was a Nazi party supporting German population in Slovakia, very much allied with uh, uh, Nazi Germany itself. They are the ones who are pushing enormously uh, against uh, any kind of Jewish residents still staying in this part of uh, Slovakia. Uh, the Jewish businesses are marked immediately. And there is confiscation and the so-called Aryanization of uh, Jewish property, which means uh, plunder of property in large scale, particularly industrial property. And uh, slowly but surely, uh, there is a policy of deporting or making those Jews of northern Slovakia to leave somewhere. Um, ultimately, uh, in uh, spring of 1942, the Slovak pro-Nazi militia, the Hlinka Guards, are informed by the SS that there are certain solutions in place. Of course, this is already beyond the Wannsee Conference, but the solution is obvious. And the German state has already taken the decision that the solution of the Jewish question means murder. And in the city of Stara Lubovna, there are 47 Jewish, mostly Orthodox girls, arrested just a week before Pesach in 1942. So the community was preparing for Pesach and 47 girls were arrested, put into a transitory camp in Poprat on the 23rd of uh, March 42. And then on the 25th of March of 1942, those girls, along with 999 other Jewish Orthodox Slovak girls from Northern Slovakia were deported into Auschwitz. This was the first massive transport of Jews ever arriving to the concentration or at this moment already becoming death camp of Auschwitz. And also this was the first massive transport of women ever arriving to Auschwitz. Uh, this event happened just a week before Pesach and uh, we are here also, just before Pesach in late March of uh, 19 of 2024, uh, the only remaining the synagogue in Stara Lubovna was dismantled after the war. Uh, the only remaining artifact of Judaica in the city is obviously the Jewish cemetery. So there is a Jewish cemetery with a couple of dozens of stones or fragments of stones. As you can see, there is a restoration process right now happening. Obviously, the retrieved stones are being positioned again in uh, little concrete foundations. And there is an ohel for the local rabbi restored in Stara Lubovna.